hello all in this video we are going to see the use of event wet task in informatica now in order to validate that we are going to execute a simple scenario let's assume that you have a business user who creates a file source file uh, at a particular location and your job is to read that file using informatica and whatever data it has you have to insert that data from that source file into your data warehouse however the only problem here is your business user cannot confirm a exact time by which uh, that file is available on that specified location so the strategy which you have to use over here is whatever workflow which you which you will create it should get executed as soon as the file is available on a particular location that means you should have some trigger point or you should have some event which will always look for that file on a per on a specified location and as soon as that uh, file is available on that location your workflow should get triggered automatically now this type of scenario we can handle using uh, event wet task which uh, informatica has uh, provided so uh, to validate that thing we'll create a simple mapping called m event wet validation uh, our source will be country's uh, flat file it has only three columns in it and we'll use target as a relational table which is again a countries table or whatever table dummy table you want to use you can use that so let's pull countries table here let's save the mapping and our mapping is in valid state let's create corresponding workflow now event wait validation so we'll create a source file at this location let's copy this location and give this as an input so file which we have to process is countries.csv target is oracle so if you check so this is the location which we have specified and, and at this location currently that countries.csv file is not there so let's add let's create the event wait task now event wait and i will specify the country that file name countries dot countries let's say and if you check here it will prompt you to uh, to use this event or create this event uh, this task event by task by two things either it has to be predefined event or the user event user defined event since we have to create or use this event by task for in order to validate the file at that particular location we'll use this predefined event by event by task which also is a file watcher event and we'll specify exact file name there so, uh, let's copy this directory location and also specify the exact file name which is countries.csv c-o-u-n-c-o-u-n-t countries.csv and we'll add this task between start task and our actual session task let's link these two tasks now we are done so our workflow is also in valid state now so what our workflow will do is it will not execute this particular session task unless this event gets satisfied that means unless this file is available at this particular location this event task will not get succeeded so uh, the task the next task session task which we have attached after the event wait task even that will wait until this task gets completed so let's run this workflow and see so 
so as you can see that event wait task is currently running now let's create that file it got succeeded since our file doesn't have any records even this next session will not process any records so as expected it has process it has read zero records and zero records got inside at the target table let's try again i will delete the file which i have created right now execute this workflow again as you can see currently the event wait task is in, is running event wait file was task instance event wait file was task instance which is currently running now let's so basically it's waiting for that file which is not available countries.csv file which is not available in the specified folder or specified path now let's create that file again it got succeeded automatically and next task started which got succeeded so this is how uh, we can use event wait task for the file file watching purpose Thanks for watching this video.